Caitlin, congratulations. You're leading the, the Diamonds. Um, what are the biggest challenges, do you, challenges, do you think, uh, for this squad, for this World Cup? Our challenge is obviously coming together pretty quickly. We all play for different states at the moment and different teams and so it's just about connecting when we have our camp in the lead up to July. So yeah, I think that is definitely something that we'll need to think about and work really hard on in the next coming weeks. How competitive is the international netball scene at the moment? Obviously the Commonwealth Games are coming off that in a way, but you know, what kind of toughness can you expect from the other nations at this tournament? It's huge. I think in the past four years it's really gone up another notch and that's having so many internationals playing in our Suncorp Super Netball League. I think as well it's having so many friendly connections with the other teams and um, I've got Joe Harton in my shooting circle at the Giants and I think now that I know her so well it just adds that extra level of competition because we want bragging rights when it's time to come home. How tough was Lisa Alexander's job, do you think, getting this squad down to 12 athletes? Mm. There are some people that have missed out. I mean... What do you make of, of her job in trying to wield this team there? Yeah, look, I don't envy the job of the selectors. I know it was a, an extremely tough decision and there's going to be some really devastated girls um, after the announcement today. But I guess it's a good position to be in where we've got so many strong athletes to have to select from. And um, it's exciting to see Sarah Cloud join the team. I think having a new diamond in the midst is always really exciting and so many players who have never been to a World Cup before. What kind of experience did you share with those newcomers around that World Cup experience? What have you learned about the tournament? Uh, look, I've already been asked a few times uh, if my parents are coming and they're not. I think that's uh, something that uh, my experience has taught me that it's, um, it's good to have no distractions. So I know that lots of their friends and family are going to be really excited. But for me, I think it's about knuckling down and getting that job done. Yeah, it's been tough for me, I guess, a different lead up to the season than what I've had traditionally, being on the sideline and being with a new club, it's been a huge learning curve for me, but I think we're finally starting to settle in the Giants lineup, and it's been a lot of fun. I think the club is absolutely amazing and I'm looking forward to the next couple of years. Is this for you, obviously, getting back there and going over to England, is it, is it sort of a chance to, I guess, have a little bit of redemption for the way it happened in the Tom Games? Definitely. I think we look back at that Com Games final and it wasn't our day. We didn't perform well enough to win that gold medal and it's definitely going to spur us on to win that gold in Liverpool. But we can't put it on the rest of the team. It's a different team than it was in Gold Coast. And I think for us heading over to their home stomping ground, there's going to be a lot of pressure on them. So I kind of like a little bit of the underdog tag. How nice would it be to beat them in a final? I think that would be amazing. I think it's going to be very tough to do. They've got a very vocal crowd and obviously got a lot of support, but I think we've definitely got the team to do it. With all the um, international players uh, now based in this competition, what um, do you think they know about Australian players that they might not have known a year ago? Yeah, look, I think that's why the competition has got so tight at the international level because the floodgates are open and we train against each other all the time and there's lots of secrets that are being shared. But I think that's what's going to make netball even more exciting for the fans is that there's going to have to be new tricks pulled out of the bag, different combinations and different things out there on the world stage. And your, um, your arm injury has been well publicised, but um, how would that, will that be of any uh, impact on the games as well? Definitely not. I think the support staff here at Giants and also the Australian Diamonds have been amazing at making sure that I recover as quickly as possible. And obviously, um, you know, getting out there for round one against the Swifts was a priority, but it was also looking forward to being in the best form possible for World Cup coming up. And um, yeah, it's, it's healed nicely and I've been getting some good contest out there on court. How do you go about making sure everyone has children at the middle of period of time? Like nine new plays here, it's not a lot of time mm. to get everything. Yeah, I guess you have to put your club allegiances aside and when we do get together for the camp, it's really important that we just get along with each other straight away and get that work done. And we've got a really mature group. Um, yes, um, age-wise on paper, it's um, don't have a lot of tests against our name, but the girls are super mature. We're professional athletes now and we understand the job that we have to do and how important it is. What will your expectations be of yourself in the tournament? Are you looking to... Um 
work on anything or improve anything in particular based on what you've done so far this season? I think it's just about getting out there and dominating. Um, there's so many high-profile goalkeepers at the moment. Um, we've seen them in the teams in the SSN league. So it's about getting out there in the green and gold and leading as captain um, and making sure that everyone's feeling comfortable out there on court. Um, we obviously have to get through the rounds cleanly to make it into the final. So um, it is, I guess, a real cliche, but it's about taking it one game at a time. Otherwise, we're not going to get to that gold medal match.